morning we begin a new series called Name and Lights in which we leave our respective comfort zones and try something new. Russ Mitchell here was the first victim last night mm. as we've been talking about. He kicked things off by taking the stage at the legendary Caroline's Comedy Club and... I'm still here to talk about it. I believe I am still employed by CBS. We shall see. It was an experience to remember, I can tell you that, and stand-up comedy is no joke. I did get some helpful tips before my debut, which you should know is in front of a friendly crowd of our CBS colleagues. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Caroline's on Broadway, America's premier comedy nightclub in the heart of Times Square. Give it up for Russ Mitchell, everybody. Yay, Russ Mitchell. That guy from the news. Here's your stage. Get up here while the while the audience is still hot and their energy's right. high. These lights are bright. Oh, Russ, I He's got a lot of work to do with you. you. Tell you. Oh, the lights, the lights, please. <laughs> you have a setup and a punchline. Pretty much that's what we do. You're not a filthy type. I can tell by looking I'm at you. Filthy. Oh, you're really yeah, filthy. That's fabulous. Yeah, Let's that's hear something, something. That's a well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to type out my routine here. This stuff isn't easy. I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy being funny. How are you? I'm on my way to meet a legendary figure, somebody who I have admired for years. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. You'll know when you see her, but I'm gonna give you three words. Can we talk? Why do you wanna be a stand-up? What? I, I think it could You're, be a lot of fun. Have you ever done it before? Never, not once, <laughs> not once. All right, John. Okay, here we go. I wrote you some jokes. I think you should talk about working with Harry Smith. Dave Price is so accurate. This morning's temperature, he said, was like the Olsen twins combined weight, 52. <laughs> is Maggie the, the s of the, can you say she's I, the No, Maggie's a very nice girl. Then let's I, say I, she's we, the we, we can't, okay, all right. Yeah, let's try with the mic. All right. Take it out. Acknowledge the front row, make them your friends. Also, if they're eating, I always give them tips like, I wouldn't. <laughs> Any pre-show rituals you want to tell me about? Pre-show rituals, have a drink. Have a drink. Seriously, okay. do you drink? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I know Joan said have a drink before I go out there, but right now I'm feeling pretty good. Now, five seconds before I hit the stage, I may change my mind, so you never know. Give it up for Russ Mitchell, everybody. I mean, this is scary. Right now, I feel like that balloon boy when he threw up on national TV. <laughs> If I were you guys in the front row, I'd be pretty nervous right now. I walk in here tonight, there's a poster outside. It was a poster of me outside. It says, Russ Mitchell, one night only. I haven't even started yet, and I'm already one night. What's that about? I saw somebody outside selling t-shirts, saying I was there for Russ Mitchell's last night at CBS News. And I went up to him, I said, that's not nice, Ms. Couric. It's really nice, not nice at all. Others of you have come up to me and said, you know what, Russ, I want to bring some people to Caroline's on Monday night. Can you get me some tickets? What am I, Ticketmaster? What's the deal with that? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, Dave Price. But anyway, you know, I have to meet this guy named Jack Daniels outside. <laughs> and trust me, I have never been happier to see him. <laughs> Thank you for coming here tonight in my first and last appearance here at Caroline's. Enjoy and drink heavily. Somebody told me before I went up there that, you know what, you're gonna like it so much, you're gonna do it again. I did like it, but I'm never doing it again. <laughs> that was it, one night only. Ah, it was an experience. Wow, a standing ovation, Russ. <laughs> As I said, it was a friendly crowd <laughs> there last night. Yeah, you were great. You're yeah. so nice, you're so, I, mean, I gotta tell you, I mean, it is scary as all get out, getting up there. It's like you're jumping off a cliff. I can't even you know. you hand, I thought just physically and everything else, so the way you were kind you of very walking around the stage, yeah. like, I you own the place. I had some great teachers. In fact, I want to thank the folks at Caroline's and my coach, comedian Linda Smith, who you saw there, and of course, Joan Rivers and Pete Dominic, who wrote some stuff as well. But man, you, you get up there, Pete, yeah, Dominic. Pete Dominic wrote wow. some stuff, yeah, and you, you get up there and the lights are on and the friendly crowd, I want to say once again, thank you so much, CBS colleagues. <laughs> How about another for standing up for Russ Mitchell, <laughs> for everybody? I've never seen our colleagues smile or laugh so much. I oh, didn't yeah. know they could. It was, well, there was plenty of alcohol as well. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Jack yeah, Daniels that, was that, there. That helps. Uh, right, Jack, right. Jim, uh, Johnny Walker, they were all there. <laughs> they were all there. Right. All those guys. <laughs> thank you, by the way, for not using the Joan Rivers joke. No, no, no. Not at all. As I told her, Maggie's a nice girl. In fact, I, I, I got on her later for, for doing that. So. <laughs> really? As you, were, <laughs> as you were about to go oh on gosh. stage... <laughs> As you were about to go on stage, was your heart 
pounding? Would, were you, yeah. Or did you have one of those moments of lucidity? I can do this. Up until about 10 minutes before I went on, I mean, yeah, the heart was pounding. And that, that balloon boy thing, I really wasn't kidding about. I mean, yeah. I, I was that really... That was a great joke. Uh, was I a was really feeling it. But you're right, the 10 minutes beforehand is kind of say, you know what, I'm going to go do this, whatever happens. But look at this thing. Happens. Then no, he no, gets no. on stage. He, look at him. He was so... He owned, owned the it. space. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, a lot of comedians, when they don't have anything funny to say, yeah. will be vile. Mm -hmm. Russ didn't do that. He was naturally funny. He didn't have anything. Funny to, to say, to say and he didn't have to research. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's true. Exactly. It's true. Yeah. And you're, you're like you talked a little different. I had a little accident. Yeah, you know, I like, kind of you know channel my inner Roddy Dangerfield. You, yeah, you said yeah. this. I thing. said it right you after the show. Right, 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 right after the show. Exactly. The funny thing is. Yeah. Russ was so good, his standing ovation lasted actually longer than his act. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's right. Well, so. so that you may always remember your standing ovation and your act, Russ Mitchell. Oh, my gosh. One night yes. only. One night only. A souvenir. Thank wow. you so much. For the office. Yes, it truly was. One night only. Wow. The HBO special, I think, is next Saturday, though. I think. It's going to be terrific. <laughs>